Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have my uh, Quilters candy box to open. I am going to satisfy my Quilters craving. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I'm very excited and I'm ready for lunch. I've been snacking on these little coffee crisps <laughs> that Lillian sent over and it's, you know, I'm trying very hard not to ruin my lunch. So let's get this open and see what's inside. <laughs> I have so many quilty things to open, um, uh, today. It's been very exciting. Okay. So here's what it looks like. It's all wrapped in pink. rip that open oh my gosh what is that it's a sprayer look at that it's and it's um it it's sort of like plasticky like you know like so it's very like lightweight and wow that's cool check that out it says keep calm and quilt on and oh wow How far does it so it doesn't always it doesn't go all the way to the bottom but that's that's really cool okay I have to give that a go because um, what I have right now is I normally just keep my same bottle of uh, best press and then I buy refills from Amazon like for cheap and uh, or as cheap as I can find and then I just keep refilling that bottle. Um, so let's see how this um, sprayer works. Maybe it's a really fine mist, which is usually what I'm trying to go for. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I love that. Okay, under that we have the little card. It says September's Quilty Quilters Candy Box. And it's got everything listed that's in the box. So we will get to that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. Um, they gave us some C's candies, Little Pops, assorted hard candy treats. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen hard candy treats from C's. I, that looks really cool. Um, okay, so we get floor, four flavors, floor flavors, <laughs> a floor flavor. <laughs> Cafe latte, vanilla, butterscotch, and chocolate. I, I'm thank you thank you I I just and you guys it's not like you get um like one of each there's a lot in there it says that a serving size is four pieces and there are about eight servings per container I, I'm I'm stoked right now I am like ready <laughs> at this rate I ain't eating lunch <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're giving us like so much good stuff. Okay, so what is this? We've got like this whole little packet of uh, goodies in here. First, there is a. Oh my, what is this? Where are my glasses? Oh my gosh. They're way over there. <laughs> okay. It says that it's by friction. And I love friction, but this is like, is it, okay, it says erasable, which, okay. Okay, you guys, this, okay, this is what it looks like. Friction is my favorite marking instrument. Hands down, period, no holds barred. I don't normally like, like, all the chalk and stuff. I just don't. I, I don't like it. It's messy, I, and it, I just don't. Okay, very weird to me. Just gonna say. Oh, I thought something was on there. Okay, I'm gonna write. All right, so it writes very well. It's very smooth. Um, I mean, not that you would be doing that with it, but let me do the erasing. All right, it's not an awesome eraser. <laughs> it will eventually erase, but um, I don't know. It sort of feels like you have to push pretty hard to get it to erase. Um, 
I don't know if heat would work on it. See, that's my favorite thing about the friction pins is that I can mark my fabric and then my iron will take the, the mark off and it's gone. And some people are all like, you know, well, what happens if, you know, you stick it in the freezer is the, okay, I personally, I don't put my clothes, my quilts in the freezer. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Um, and I don't, yeah, so I'm really not sure about this, but I'm excited about it because it's, you know, it's new and different. I'm going to try it. I have to admit that I'm a little nervous to try it. So I would probably try it on something that's for me and not that something I'm making for someone else just in case. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love friction, so I can't, I can't wait to try. Okay, so. There we go. 20 minutes of talking about the friction pin and what, okay. Um, then we have something that's called side threading needles. Open on the side of the eye, easy to thread, stays threaded. 12 assorted general use hand sewing needles. You guys heard of those? Um, yeah, I, I have never heard of that. And here's the loop thread, pull thread into slot. Okay, so and then there's how they say you use it. I mean, it looks simple enough. Uh, my biggest concern, which they did address on the front, is that it would come un... <laughs> you know, like if there's a hole there, you'd think it would, become, it would come unthreaded. But apparently that's not a problem. Okay, so that's cool. To me, it's new. I don't know if it's been around a while, but it's new to me. Um, and then here's the fabric. Uh, let me read. Oh, this is neat. Look, it's a stretch ribbon. Oh, I love that. Okay, what does this say about this fabric? Because I don't, I don't really recognize it. It looks, yeah. Okay, let's see. What does it say? Okay, all the fabric you need to make your sunshine mini from Birch Fabrics. Birch Fabrics uses 100% organic cotton, making it extra soft. It does feel really soft. I was thinking AGF, but um, I hand selected these particular prints to go with your sunshine mini, and I can't wait to see yours. Okay, so let me show these to you. Um, they're really cute, and I have to say, this first one that I'm going to show you, I wish I had a yard of. <laughs> Um, that is quite adorable. You got the little kids playing. I like to think that's like Hansel and Gretel or something. I don't know. Uh, you got like the little mushrooms, which is cute. I like that. And I just, these colors are just so cute. I love that. Okay. And again, it's called Birch. Oh, it's from Birch Fabrics. I don't really know what line this is. It could be like a several. I don't know. I might have to um, look that up and see if I can't find it. I'll go to the Birch uh, website and see. Um, so we got quite a bit more of this one. It's sort of... I mean, I guess you could call it pink, but I think it's pink more, heading more toward red. Um, I know it's showing up red in the camera, but it is sort of like leaning toward a hot pink but it's definitely more red um and it's just got little silhouettes of birds flying in the distance okay and then oh now this is just really pretty i can i appreciate good solids this is a very very nice and soft cream and i know it's not showing it's the the camera is not giving doing it justice at all I wish you could see this in person. Hopefully you get this box and you can see it. It's so soft and, and such a lovely ivory color, like cream, ivory, I don't know what if it matters. Um, okay, and then here is, you know, it's funny that the, the fabrics that I like the most, I got the least of. <laughs> um, but this is really pretty because it's a lovely coral color and then it's got the little crosses crosses, plus signs, whatever you want to call them. And they're very random, which is nice. Okay, and then we have this mustard color um, with little, 
Well, it's got like various lines and then these little flowers. And it is mustard. It's coming across the, to the camera as having sort of a green hue, but it really doesn't in person. It's, it's, a, it's a mustard color. Okay, and then the last one. Well, I didn't get much of this one either, and I don't like it that much, so that's okay. <laughs> um, I just, I like coral better than orange, and this is definitely like a darker orange. Um, but I do like how those lines are like not straight. That, that's that's kind of cool sometimes whenever you're um, when you're using it. So, okay, so let's look at this pattern and see what it is. I've got a, a string. Hold up, let me trim that because it's going to get caught on something and then it's going to. Okay. Alrighty. So here's the pattern. I'm actually really excited about that. Just having something that says sunshine. <laughs> okay. You are the sun to my shine. It's a pattern by tied with a ribbon. So there's the pattern. And it looks like it's applique. Um, uh, the finished size is 18 and a half by 18 and a half. And then they also put here uh, 47 centimeters by 47 centimeters. And you need um, 5 eighths of a yard background fabric, which is white, one fat quarter lettering fabric, one fat quarter sun fabric, uh, three fat eighths of orange coral and yellow for the sun rays, two and a half yards, oh, two and a half yards of um, two and a half inch bias binding tape or you could just make your own binding. <laughs> Black embroidery thread, 22 inch by 22 inch batting, 22 inch by 22 inch backing fabric, one half yard fusible web, yep, it's applique, machine sewing and applique, and applique thread, rotary, it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Rotary cutter. <laughs> ruler and mat and general sewing supplies okay so they must have the pattern for those letters in here let's check out what they give you um okay okay so you open it up and you've got all these papers which i'm assuming are going to be like yeah it's basically okay so first you get Um, what, like three pages? You got three pages of instructions. And one of them is a front and back. Yeah, okay, so uh, there is the first page of instructions, and then you got that page, which, you know, there you go. And the back of that, and then this, which is just saying, thank you, I made this. <laughs> okay, and then we have... Um, all of the patterns. You are the sun to my shine. And then here they are giving us the sun. And there are the um, sun rays. A corner curve template so that you can um, make your curve really nice okay yeah this is this is really cute please let me have enough time to make it <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cool I totally love that this this month's box is pretty awesome I really like it um, so if you got yours let me know what you think um, you know, and the fabrics that they send, you know, just as always, you can use your own fabric. And I'm ripping this little thing apart. That's the only thing about these resealable, um, bags is that they get stuck to everything you're trying to get in there. And it's just hard to get back in there. Okay. We, I think I'm going to get, oh, <laughs> got stuck again. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Cause of course I like everything to be perfection. Okay. So, and there we go. Um, 
Oh my gosh, you guys, honestly. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so let me know what you think of everything. And I will see you guys uh, in the fun of papers. Bye.